When cells get damaged, uh, there are many, many consequences that manifest uh, throughout life. Um, often there's an accumulation of damage. We're very familiar with uh, the really serious conditions to do with DNA mutations and so on. Um, but even gradual changes and gradual accumulation of damage can cause what we call health deficits. Um, you can get that um, as a generalized increase in rate of aging. You can see uh, things like um, neurodegeneration. You can see things like uh, blood vessel um, integrity reduction. That can lead to things like uh, poor cardiovascular health or even uh, poor, poor um, blood nutrition to the, to the skin. So you start to see changes in your skin condition and so on. Now, inside cells, they're a little bit like car engines. You have, in car engines, you'll have your exhaust fumes, you'll have all the stuff that's being produced because of the, the engine. Cells have exactly the same thing going on. So there's lots of compounds which are produced just as part of that combustion, if you like. Um, and what that does is it creates lots of oxygen, reactive oxygen species, right? So they're oxygen based. So they go around inside the cell, um, they might start to break apart cellular walls, uh, they might start to uh, damage your DNA. Uh, and so the body realizes that this is not a good thing, it, all this needs to be cleared away, all of it needs to be tidied up. Uh, and the way it does it is to have an antioxidant system. And antioxidancy uh, is, is very important as well for telomeres actually because uh, again these oxygen, uh, reactive oxygen compounds can damage your telomeres as well and make them shorter than uh, they should be. There's some very common antioxidants uh, that we are all very familiar with, things like vitamin C you will get in oranges. Um, what's less well known is uh, other ingredients, natural actives like um, things like um, sea buckthorn for instance where you're going to get 12 times the amount of vitamin C that you would actually get in an orange. Um, even more uh, unusual extracts, uh, which have got very powerful effects, are things like the Rosa Roxburghi extract. In that particular situation, not only do you see uh, a very much greater increase in, in, in the vitamin C liberation, but you'll also have things like uh, superoxide dismutase, which is a very powerful antioxidant, and um, glutathione precursors, which are other very powerful antioxidants, much more powerful than uh, the vitamin C. Um, what you also see, even in experiments where you look at um, perhaps uh, creatures like fruit flies, um, Rosa Roxburghi extract can increase the lifespan of those from about 70 to 80 days. So the turnover of cells is, is, is being slowed down there as well. So ingredient input uh, and, and what you're choosing to have in your diet is really critical for making sure that the cell function uh, is extended for as long as possible.